it's time. It's that time off again. It's super loot time. I am excited to see how this bump's box comes out. Last month, they changed things up and they sent an email to me saying that they're going to mix their boxes up. They're going to be theming them and they're going to be putting more money into an official t-shirt and less filler items. They said if they do add any extra items in there, it's going to be things like comics and American candy. And last month's box was a huge hit for me. I absolutely loved it. The American candy was fantastic. I had, uh, I had uh, this candy floss in mine and I also had bubble gum. I never thought that I, I've never been a bubblegum guy or a big fan of it, but I thought, well, I got it, I'll try it. Couldn't stop blowing bubbles. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> but let's see what we got in this month's box. Welcome all you awesome people to the Geeky Even channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heaven, here with Marches. I want to say Marches. I'm sure this is Marches box from Superloot. Oh yes, Superloot, the mystery box company who delivers awesome geeky goodies to your door. Now, I'm sure everyone's aware of them by now. Superloot, you can pick up your first box if you haven't got one already. Your first box for £19.99. And then going forward, every month from then, it is £24.99 delivered to your door. Free UK shipping, that is. You can also save money by going for a free 6 or a 12 month subscription. It's an upfront payment that you pay for the free 6 or 12 months, but you work out a lot cheaper. I am incredibly excited. Superloot send this to me. I work alongside with them. They send this out to me to review. I don't pay for this box, but it's a pretty awesome box. And I've already mentioned it. I'm excited to see what's in this month's box. So I'm going to get Sword to open it up. Ah, check this out. Smashing boredom in the face. I'm so glad that it's back in its Superloot box because <laughs> last month's box was just a plain brown box. And I love that logo on the side of the box. But. Enough waffling, let me get the dragon sword, crack this open, and see what we got. Smashing boredom in the face. It's what's inside that counts. What is inside? Oh, it's packaged well. Whatever's inside is packaged well. Might be a damageable item, who knows? Right, I'm gonna go straight away for this big box here, because this is the big box at the side on display. And it is The Walking Dead. I've had one of these before. Uh, this is Eagle Moss figure. The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. I haven't had Daryl Dixon before yet. This is one of the small... I have, so they do so many different versions of these. I actually had uh, a walker, a graveyard walker. I like that. This doesn't look too bad. This figure looks okay. I'm going to get this figure out of the box so we can have a closer look. Because... Eagle Moss can be quite funny, but let's get this out and see what the figure looks like. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. I am quite impressed with this. Eagle Moss are really funny with their figures. Sometimes they look terrible. They look nothing like the character. <laughs> this one is fantastic. It's Daryl with his crossbow. <laughs> On the floor there is a zombie's head with an arrow protruding through it. He's in his classical gear with his wings on his back there. I really like this. It's your stereotypical Eagle Moss. There's a few paint blemishes and a few paint issues. His hands got the, not got his skin tone on it there, and his hairline has got skin down the hair. But Eagle Moss are not the best when it comes to painting. But mold-wise, that's not a bad figure. Uh, 2015 AMC. This says on here, Daryl Dixon. I'm impressed with that. This figure as well also comes with a character booklet. I haven't opened it up yet, so it comes with this character booklet. And oh, here we go. So it's just that just shows you the figurine about the collection and creative process. So this is what you get in here. Oh, there's a poster. Ah, oh, nice big poster. Who will survive? Uh, oh, Terminus, that is. I am so far behind on Walking Dead. It's unbelievable. And that's strange. So the picture there, just I was like, why have they got why have they got him in there? But Daryl's over this side. Here he is. 
picture there about the figure. Uh, figure development. I quite like this. I like looking at the behind the scenes and how to develop things. I think they've done just do a poor paint job. This, this, I'm looking at this now. And this figure looks different to that. The development, pic the picture on that, the, the, the face sculpt is fantastic. Whereas the face sculpt on this one is not as good. Uh, my camera's not gonna pick this up. My camera's not gonna be able to pick it up. But the face sculpt on this is not as good as what it looks like on here. I don't know whether it's because it's just the paint job has made it, made it worse or not. And also in the collection, it shows you a lot more people in the collection. Pretty awesome item though, I quite like that figure. Eagle Moss though, they are in every single sub box at the moment. <laughs> Let's move on to the next item. Let's move this bubble wrap out of the way and see what we got. Uh, get my packaging note out of the way. Oh, okay. I got some Pringles cheddar cheese. Nice. Cheese. I, I quite like Pringles and that's a quite nice sized tub. Normally like snack size tubs here are like half the size of that. That's a decent sized tub. Okay. Cheese Pringles. I like Pringles and I like cheese. I'll definitely give them a go. Not I'm happy with that. There is a t-shirt on top. And it oh it's the Walking Dead. Okay. So this looks like it's gonna be a Walking Dead themed box. Uh Walking Dead Skull Camo is what says on there. It's in my size. Let's get this out and see what this looks like. Oh, I like that. I really like that. The Walking Dead. And it is a skull in camo. This is probably my favourite t-shirt I've had from in a long time. This is this is a lot better than last month's t-shirt as well. I'm definitely going to wear this t-shirt. 100%. I absolutely love that. That is so good. I really like that. AMC, The Walking Dead. Camo skull. Oh, what an awesome t-shirt. I'm happy. I'm happy with that t-shirt in this box. <laughs> Moving on to the next item. Looks like there's three more items in here. There is, oh yes, Pocky. I absolutely love Pocky. I, green tea Pocky is my favorite, the Japanese one. Uh, so this is Pocky strawberry flavor. I'm happy to get these because Pocky is absolutely awesome. I will definitely be trying, I'm definitely eating them. I love Pocky. <laughs> uh, two more items in here. One of which is a comic. I'll get the comic out first. And it is Thunderbolts, Marvel Thunderbolts. I have not heard of this. Uh, Join the revolution. It looks like a red Hulk. And it looks like, I can't quite figure out that out. It's Marvel, so it's, it looks like looks like red Hulk squash, uh, strangling Venom. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. But it looks like the Venom character is dressed up as a knight. <laughs> I have no idea what Thunderbolts is. Join the revolution, this is issue two. Uh, Thunderbolts, oh here we go, yeah. So Red Hulk, Punisher, Venom, Deadpool, and Elektra. Excellent, that is the characters in there. So I was right, it was, it was Red Hulk and Venom. General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, the Red Hulk, has assembled a team intent on cutting out the cancer of evil that infects this world. By his side are a hand-picked group of like-minded individuals, former loners bound together to accomplish what might have been an out of reach, what might have been out of reach on their own. Frank Castle, aka Punisher, Vigilante Executioner, Flash Thompson, aka Venom, Symbiote Soldier, Wade Wilson, aka Deadpool, regenerating psychopath. Yeah. Electra Nachos, aka Electra Ninja Assassin. Together they are the Thunderbolts. I've not heard of the Thunderbolts, but that is an awesome team. Why is that not a movie? Thunderbolts. Hulk, Venom, Deadpool, Punisher, and Electra. That sounds fantastic to me. Let's have a look at some of the artwork in here, shall we? Oh yeah. Not sure what these stories are like. Uh, I've not read. I've not read any of these stories. I've not read many comics. I am starting to slowly but surely gather more and more comics and starting to read the stories. But that sounds to me like a fantastic team. 
Thunderbolts. <laughs> I'm not sure about the name of it, Thunderbolts, but I do like all the characters in that team. I'll give that a read. Last item. What is this last item? It's the Walking Dead. So this was a Walking Dead theme box. Um, the Walking Dead gift set. Oh, a hip flask gift set. I've seen quite a lot of these things like this. So it's a fully printed metal hip flask, uh, two times one ounce metal cups, and a funnel for easy filling. It's a posh looking hip flask with some uh, shot glasses, I think. Metal shot glasses. Let's get this out of this. It's really posh looking. It comes in this uh, little blackwood box. Let's open this up. Oh, it's really, really nice looking, that is. Sitting in, oh, almost dropped whatever that was. Let's make sure that's in there properly. <laughs> so, as you see, it's really, really shiny. Uh, it says Walker, Walker Hunter DD on there. Uh, this side is Walking Dead, and this side is the DD, Daryl Dixon. Ah, DD, Daryl Dixon, maybe then. Walker, Daryl Dixon, Hunter. I quite like it. This is. For, oh, so this is for pouring. I don't know why. It's a, it's a weird thing for putting in, in the cups and pouring it. I don't drink alcohol, so a hip flask is not really any good to me. It's a really nice hip flask, it is. It's a really, really posh set. I don't, I don't really know anyone who uses a hip flask. It's really strange because I see these all the time in like the big geeky shops that you go to and you can buy things. There's always like these hip flasks and these shot glasses. I always wonder, who's actually using these? I mean, it's nice like display piece maybe. I could put that on display with some Walking Dead DVDs and some figures or something, but who actually uses these? I've never seen anyone use a hip flask. I think I'm just hanging around with the wrong people. <laughs> um, that is the end of the box. So let's have a quick recap and we will talk about these items. The Walking Dead. Awesome t-shirt. Thunderbolts comic. Eagle Moss AMC Walking Dead Daryl Dixon figure. The Walking Dead hip flask set. Cheesy Pringles and Strawberry Pocky. That is all the items in this month's box. Okay. Let's start off by talking about prices, shall we? I've looked it all up again. So the Walking Dead t-shirt, I found the company that makes this t-shirt, but the company that makes this t-shirt make it for distributors only. It's only for retail people. So I could not log in. I couldn't see the prices of it. I found, I had to search everywhere to try and find this. Normally I class t-shirts, especially an official t-shirt like this, somewhere between 12 and 15 pound. I found a company called Amazon Extras. It's nothing to do with Amazon, like amazon.com or amazon.co.uk as far as I can see. Just a, a website called Amazon Extras and they had it for 12 pound 26. Um, so I'm going to, I mean, when I price things, I mean, I priced the t-shirt about 12 pound anyway, official t-shirt. So let's say 12 pound for the t-shirt. The Eagle Moss, the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, Dixon figure, Eagle Moss himself sell that for £12.99. I found it on eBay for £7. Well, it was bidding at, a, at the lowest price was £7. I had a few days left uh, plus £3.50 postage. I found we'll buy it now for £8.95 plus £3.90 postage. Amazon have it for £18.51. So quite high prices for this figure. Uh, the hip flask, I found it on Zavi for £12.99 and they have an RRP of £19.99. Then I found it on Amazon for £12.76 and eBay for £14.15. Uh, the comic, uh, I just looked up on eBay to be honest with you, I found it £3. And that's about right for comics. If you go to a comic shop, you're going to pay about anything between £2 to £4 for a comic, a second comic like this, I'd say. I'd rather go to a comic store myself to buy my comics so you can get them, uh, like bagged and boarded. But, uh, that's me personally. Then I looked up the American sweets as well and candy. So I looked up the American cheddar cheese Pringles. You can get them from a company called sweetandglory.com and they sell them for £1.61, this exact size. But as it's shipping to an individual person, you have to pay DPD shipping. And shipping for me, for example, would be £7 and 1p. <laughs> so I would not be buying that <laughs> myself. Uh, and the Pocky Strawberry, uh, you can buy them on Amazon for £2.34. 
which is actually quite a good deal because when I see when I see things like Pocket Abyss and my local supermarket, I'm paying like three pounds for them. I am. So, going by in prices, the highest price that you pay for all these items is going to be fifty three pound and ninety two pound, and the lowest end would be forty seven pound and one p is the value of this box, which the maximum you're going to pay for it. The box is twenty four pound ninety nine. So you save yourself somewhere between the region of twenty two pound and twenty nine pound. Phenomenal savings. The value is 100% there. Let's talk about the items. Eagle Moss figure. Eagle Moss, Eagle Moss, Eagle Moss. That name. I no longer like the name Eagle Moss. I have so many Eagle Moss figures. I'm not too keen on the figure itself. It's not bad. The mold itself is, this is not a bad figure, but what's put me off the figure is I saw the picture inside the booklet that showed me what it's supposed to look like, and it definitely doesn't look, the, the face sculpt is not the same. That's probably one of the better looking Eagle Moss figures I've seen. I am not a fan of Eagle Moss. I've had too many Eagle Moss figures, and it's not a bad figure, but it's not something I'm collecting either. So that's not for me. The Walking Dead hip flask set, I don't drink alcohol. I've, I've been teetotal for almost two years now, so it's really kind of meaningless to me, but it's a really nice item and I'll use it as a gift for someone or I'll use it as a giveaway. I may do like a Walking Dead giveaway at some point and include that in there. The comic, I'm always, always, always happy to have a comic in a subscription box and the American sweets and candy, 100%, yeah, I love that. And the t-shirt, I love that t-shirt. That for me is the best item in this box. I'm gonna go with t-shirt. What's your favorite item? Just normal YouTube stuff at the same time. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know down below what's your favorite item. What did you think of this month's box? For me, although I didn't like the Eagle Moss figure and I don't drink, so I'm not gonna use this item, I think it's still a good box because I like the t-shirt. I'm gonna read that comic. I'm definitely interested in finding out about Thunderbolts because that sounds amazing to me. And I'm 100% gonna eat these crisps and this Pocky, <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> so, I mean, I've got a few items out of this box that I'm happy with. And a few items which I can use the gift on, but I think that's just—I think they are really good items. I think I think the uh, hip flask is a very very good item. It's really well made, and you can't deny the value. But like I say, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm happy with this month's box. I I wish it wasn't drink related items and it wasn't an, a eagle moss figure, but I've still got a few bits that I'm happy with, <laughs> and I still think the value is phenomenal. I love this new direction that Loot Crate, Loot Crate, Super Loot. The good company, not Loot Crate, that rubbish company. Uh, I love the new direction that Super Loot are taking, and I hope they keep continuing boxes like this because this will make me happy forever. <laughs> but I'm getting it here. I'm the Geeky Heathen. As always, much love. And until next time, stay awesome. <laughs>